the bank must stay relevant to its members. And uh, to do so, the bank must be visible and present in member states. Uh, as a governor, as finance minister, I should be able to pick up a call and call the office of the bank in my capital. I shouldn't call Abidjan. I shouldn't call Pretoria because it takes uh, much longer. Uh, the bank's presses, presence on the ground in Masero Lesotho allows the bank to begin to understand the idiosyncrasies of our countries. In the southern region where I come from, uh, the uh, 15 or so countries that belong to SADC are also 15 very different economies. There's no average that we can do. There's no average policy that can be relevant uh, outside the bank being there and understanding each member state differently. Even the, uh, the middle income countries of Southern Africa are vastly different in the, uh, the nature of their economies. So the bank is working very hard and I can see that it's trying to begin to understand its members but it is going to have to do a lot more and uh, have to invest a lot more resources in getting closer to its own members. I encourage and I commend the, uh, uh, the president's actions to talk more, to consult more uh, his principals, the governors. I think we are all agreed industrialization is key. We have very large populations in our countries that produce, but produce at subsistence level. Uh, they gain very little from their effort. They produce goods that they sell to their neighbors. They get very little value add from their energies. But uh, if things were working well, whatever you are producing, you should be able to live off from. You should be able to pay school fees for your children. You should be able to pay uh, user fees at the hospital. But unless we change from these subsistence modes of production to industrializing, no one will be able to uh, gain much, gain an income from their efforts. So to the extent that the uh, Busan now is going to consider a theme of industrialization, then that is very relevant. SADAC uh, theme for this year, and this is South African chairing of SADAC, that theme is also industrialization. It's looking at the value chains, animating the value chains, and bringing our people into commercial production, in a way from subsistence farming. And, uh, uh, making them begin to realize that uh, they can get any income from what they've been doing for years. So industrialization is that, is that transformative step uh, to changing life loads of our people in Africa. Let me focus on, on, on the lessons. Um, focus. Focusing on uh, uh, building your human capacity, focusing on uh, catalyzing investment, uh, focusing on uh, getting your people to know that they can make things and continually make them better and move up the value chain of uh, any production process. So we know uh, Korea starts off in the, in, in, in the 60s 
uh, along with, with other tigers, but they consistently try to do better, go through these cycles uh, of getting things right. Korea has built winners and they have created wealth for the Korean people. And this in itself has fed uh, peace and stability in Korea and has, has now propelled it into, uh, it's now classified as a developed uh, country from only 50, 60 years ago. So the lesson is, yes, we can, but it's going to take concerted effort. It's going to take our institutions focusing uh, on the most important uh, issue, the most important problems, which for, uh, for this continent is jobs. But our continent is a, con is a continent endowed with all kinds of resources. We just not, have not yet focused on that well, uh, wealth, investing in our people, but more critically, amalgamating all the resources that we have to focus on creating jobs for uh, Africa's youth. I think jobs, jobs is at the top of the African agenda. It must be jobs. The, uh, we have, uh, we are the youngest continent. Uh, a very large share of our populations are youth, but it's youth without jobs. It's youth that is trying to run away from the continent. It's youth that, that is trying to run away from the most prosperous continent. It is youth that is running away from a continent endowed with all kinds of natural assets. We must uh, undertake policies that are necessary for our people to create jobs for themselves. Uh, this requires one, we must uh, nature peace and stability, political stability. We must have good macroeconomic policies and stabilize the macroeconomy. And those are just the prerequisites that we need to have in place at all times. We must be credible governments. Governments, the petrol of governments is credibility. You lose credibility, the car will not move, regardless of how much uh, you do, it won't move. You can announce best policies, but once you've lost credibility, uh, you no longer have the ability to lead your, your people. So we must be credible. And that credibility is not only about, uh, about political and intellectual honesty. Uh, it is also uh, about competence to be able to do. So we, uh, today, in 2018, we have the benefit of looking uh, backwards and realizing that uh, the policies of the past haven't always worked. We have uh, stuck too much to untried, but uh, the untried, but uh, frankly, failed theories. Uh, we have not piloted and tested some of these things at the practical level. So if you're going to, uh, uh, if you're in an African country and you want to accelerate investment, you may, um, uh, in terms of conventional wisdom, you may go through these doing business reforms pioneered by the IFC and the World Bank. And you do all that, you have political stability, which for Africa sometimes is an issue. You have macroeconomic stability. And when you are done, you expect investment to take place. And you look back and there isn't. It isn't taking place. So you look again, you find, oh, I need to do investment climate reform. You do that and nothing is happening. And you go back and say, oh, I don't have entrepreneurs with the financial muscle to invest. 
But you need to line up all these ducks so that you have uh, what it would take for investment to be to begin uh, to take place. All these five are very, very relevant. And they, they, these are the building blocks for creating the jobs that we need for our youth and unemployment, unemployed. Uh, each one of them is contributing. Uh, it's, a, it's a piece of the pie that is needed to make this work. Um, integrate Africa. We, uh, we trade in commodities, and as a result, then we trade with the outside world, but we don't trade with each other. Uh, African trade is, is very limited, and Africa as a whole is not really truly integrated in the global uh, trade system. I think we are no more than 2% of the, the entire global system. But at any rate, we produce most of the uh, uh, commodity and mineral wealth that the rest of the world is prospering from. So we need to integrate ourselves. So Malawi and Zambia produces um, a lot of maize in good years. E Ethiopia exper experiences farming. Getting the maize out of Zambia and Malawi to Ethiopia uh, is more expensive than getting the maize out of the United States. And so there's not going to be trade. And in between a country that needs maize and a country that produces maize uh, is, is a wilderness of no infrastructure, of expensive uh, logistical services. And that stands in the way clearly of integrate Africa. And therefore, that makes that particular goal uh, very, very relevant. I, uh, I'm a, I must be honest with you, uh, with development, you decide these are the impediments and I'm going to remove all the impediments. But sometimes is you, you, pull, you, you pull these rocks away, but there's always other rocks beneath that you would not have known about. But at least let's start removing all those impediments, all the five. Take them out of the way and see what emerges. In some cases, you had hit the nail and investment begins to take place. But uh, in others, you observe progress and you confront new problems. But those are uh, uh, problems that at any rate moves you closer and closer to a, a solution. If the bank succeeds in achieving most of these goals, and that's so across the entire co continent. North, East, Central, South, West. Then we'll have a continent that begins to grow and prosper uh, together. And that's really critical for the integration of Africa in the global uh, world system.